traveled at the main event makes a pit stop tonight, making the money, and that makes this a red letter day at the main. Day three. Day three. Let's go. All right, guys, day three. Day three. Here for time. It's Monday. Day three. He's still going. Trying to get it, baby. Remember this. Remember that. Poker pro Jason Mercier drew a tough seat on day one and hopes he can chip up early tonight. 04 main event champ Greg Raymer likewise. That is a Disneyland stroll, not a day three stroll. Let's get going, Greg. Lon McCarran here with Norman Chad, Kara Scott, and Joe Stapleton as Poker Pro and Tournament Director Kenny Hallart preps for his day three. It is much too early to talk about back-to-back -back final tables for Kenny, so I won't, even though I just did. <laughs> Chino Reem hopes he can take some of Kenny's chips to pass November Niners with big stacks. Chino is as dangerous as they come. No chip is safe when he is at your table. Neither Kenny nor Chino are on the leaderboard, but both have impressive stacks here starting day three. Artan Dusha leads the way the top American, Mickey Kraft. We've heard rumblings about Mickey. He's an unpolished Chino, but more unpredictable if that's even possible. A lot of notables remain. Ben Lamb and Jay Farber have made the main event final table before. You know who I like on that list? Matt Moss. He called Will Kasuf out last year and is a dangerous player. He's like Mickey Kraft, but completely different. The chip leader at our feature table, Jared Palmer in C2, but watch out for the 05 champ, Joe Hashem. See that new rule? 30 seconds, they can call time now. The new time rule. Where? Here? Yeah. 30 seconds, you, they can call time. That makes a lot of sense, I like it. It's good, and then you only get 30 seconds. Like in every spot or just like in... Every spot. When they seem it's appropriate, like even the... Even in, in like the very big ones? Every spot. They're not gonna say to you, you know, bang, but if someone wants to call time, they yeah. only have to wait 30 seconds. Interesting, Reiner Kempa yeah. says he likes it because he often takes his time. It does indeed. Four chips in play, as you see. The yellow and orange versions are good to have in abundance. Joe Hashem under the gun before his yeah. win in 05 here. He had about 40,000 in winnings. Norman, your uh, winnings total about 80,000. You're overdue, sir. I was born overdue, so I'm used to it. <laughs> Hashem with a raise with ace eight to 4,300. The blinds at 1,000, 2,000. 300 ante, Kempa. Pocket tens. Kemp won the 2016 Super oh. High Roller Bowl for $5 million, and trust me, he took his time doing it. Tricky hand, pocket tens. He just calls. The 30-second rule is good. You don't even have to enforce it. It simply will encourage faster play. Fold it around to the big blind. Hungarian Zoltan Zabo, ace four, another tricky hand. Man bun plus weak ace equals losing hand. He lists student as his profession. He calls for 2,300 more from the big. Three players will see a flop. This feature table feels like a wake. Who died? <laughs> there it is. Eight, six, queen. Man bun plus weak ace plus missed flop equals losing hand. He never had much hope. He wisely checks. Hashem now with a middle pair. Kemp is still best with his pocket tens. Hashem continues for 5,200. One, two, three, four, five, clock! Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, clock! Kempa reaching finally. Just calls. Zabo gets out of the way. We're heads up. And we will slowly and silently go to the turn. Shh, they're playing poker here. Turn card. Dealer's taking his time as well. Four of clubs. <laughs> Kempa still in the lead. Hashem starting the hand with 133,000. 11,200 from Joe. Clock. 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 I kid. Kempa has him covered by about 11,000. Uh, he's going to call here. Wow, a fold from Kempa. Oh, he didn't call. The better hand folds, the, the better t-shirt wins. So Joe gets a gift here. The last remaining Hashem in this main event. His brother and son have already busted out. It's always good to see past main event champs faring well at the main event. We talk about poker as a skill game all the time. And repeat champions or repeat final tablists always help that conversation. When did you start hosting these World Series telecasts? 2002? Yep. And they let you repeat every year, huh? Uh, yep. Well, here's the thing. With my new glasses, mm -hmm. I see things more clearly than ever. Uh, enlighten us, please. Uh, I shall. You and I make repeat appearances to the main event final table every year, but are simply lucky. Ah. 
But for the poker player, it is difficult to climb the mountain again. It is difficult to scale the summit twice. It is difficult to return to the game's loftiest perch. They need luck and skill. Reclaiming old glory, Lon, is a strenuous, mystifying task. As, as Kierkegaard once said, life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. Can I call the clock on you? About 2,500 players began day three, along with past champs Hashem and Raymer. We find the 0-1 champ Carlos Mortensen. He bubbled the main event final table in 2013, finishing 10th, inducted into the Poker Hall of Fame last year. To Greg Raymer, who flopped a 10-high flush with straight flush draw. He's all in trying to avoid a higher flush uh, against opponent Duck Wynn. And he does just that, and Raymer doubles up with the flush. Big double up for Raymer. He won it all in 04, finished 25th the following year. He pumps it up to 172 grand, a bit above average. Good to see Greg Raymer with chips out there in the field. We come back into Brasilia, checking in on our secondary featured table, the dark hooded Chino Ream, an 08 November Niner. He saw a flop with 2016 November Niner Kenny Hallart. Both missed Kenny's best with ace queen suited. Yeah, two guys miss the flop, but carry on. That's the spirit that built this nation in 1776. 5,500 each. King of spades. Both have gut shots. Ream now checks. Hallert sees an opportunity here to bluff with the best hand, and that should take care of business. Tournament director in Europe. Just over a third of the pot. Chino looks like Lucifer on a draw. <laughs> And Lucifer has nasty intentions. A check raised to 25,000. Check raising a gut shot on a paired board with two flush draws. Do not try this at home. And actually, this should take care of business. <laughs> I will worship Kenny Hollard if he repops him here. No, he does fold it. Ream was the razor under the gun with Jack Four, and his nefarious plans come to fruition. He's now approaching 400,000. Chino always testing his opponents. If you're looking to check it down, you are in the wrong game. As Kenny found out, Chino can do it all at the poker table. The check raise earns him that pot. 7,221 players started this main event on day one. Today on day three, we play down to the money bubble at 1,084 players. 12th straight year, we've had a field of at least 6,000. 13th straight year, first place is worth at least 8 million. L. Kobe Wilkerson from South Carolina enjoying the day. If his poker moves are anything like his dance moves, DeWiz is in good shape. Another former main event champ still in the field, Johnny Chan. Back to back in 87 and 88. Granted, the tournament could have been played in my backyard, but it's still impressive. 98 champ, Scotty Wynn. Is there anyone left in this tournament who hasn't won the main event? <laughs> All right, back inside Brasilia, a look at our featured tables. On the left, Kenny Hallart with pocket jacks. Call the all-in of Young Ryu with pocket jacks. If two players have the Lama Karen Memorial hand, can they both lose? Ah, there is a disturbance in the force. Ryu, 43-year-old from Austin, Texas, owns a consulting yes. business in his first main event. <laughs> Just to be clean, yes. this is mine. Yes. Yeah. This is mine. Okay. Just to be sure. I all right, here's the flop. Jackson Jacks. Two clubs. Kenny's free rolling. Uh, good game, sir. Good game. <laughs> nice playing with you. <laughs> free roll. I'll take those back. <laughs> Turn card. Another club for Kenny. Isn't this fun? Do you enjoy this right now? <laughs> His demeanor has changed. River card now, oh! that's out of clubs, oh my! Young Ryu flushed out. I just made it so much worse for you by saying that. He's kind gonna be on TV. <laughs> that's sick. I've got to tell you, if that were my first main event and I went out that way, that might be my last main event. There's going to be over 7,000 bust-out stories. That one will have bite to it. Kenny ran and played well last year to make the final nine. Maybe he has what it takes to do it again. Making the final table of the World Series of Poker main event was the best experience I ever had. And normally it will be the best experience I will ever achieve uh, in my poker career. I don't think I could ever uh, repeat this. All in. Oh no. All in. Uh, snap, call. The final table itself finished in sixth place. Haller is not happy with himself. 
his main event about to end abruptly. Maybe like a little bit disappointed, but still after all, I can look back on a, a very great uh, experience I had. A terrific run, but that last hand will sting for a while. Weeks and months after making the final table, it was mentally not, not easy. Uh, I had to say, it took me a while before I got the, the courage back and the, the motivation back to start playing poker again, but I did get that feeling back. So yeah, life, life is good at the moment. Hollett is a big field savant. He's cashed in back-to-back -back main events, both fields of 6,400 or larger, and cashed in four straight millionaire makers here, all fields of 6,300 or larger. Kenny in the big blind. It has been raised by Benoit Jean to 4,500, three bet by Chino Ream to 15,000, and now Kenny has raising chips in front of him. And he four bets to 42,000. 42,000. Benoit Jean, a Canadian pro, folds, and now on Ream. No, much to start with. Chino once worked as a waiter. He's used to asking customers questions. 42, right? 42. This is one tough customer. And there is a call for 27,000 more with Ace King. Hollert and Ream step into center ring again. Flop now. Four, five, nine. Neither improved, and that's better news for Kenny than Chino. Hollert still works as a tournament director, is one of the rules at this year's main event. He made sure that anytime he had queens, the board would come with all undercards. <laughs> Membership has its privileges. Hollert has the action here. He bets one third the pot, 30,000. When I have Ace King and miss the flop, I'm done. When Chino has Ace King and misses the flop, He's just starting. It's opportunity with the two overs in his hand. He does call. Turn card, the king comes home for Chino. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Uh, to be honest, nothing has seemed right since One Direction broke up. <laughs> Kenny now checks the over card. And Chino quick to action, 50,000. Kenny thinking some Flemish or Dutch or French swear words about now, no doubt. Well, Chino will not waste the gift of a king. But I don't think Kenny can just lay down here. Chino definitely could have open face squad douche here with a side of shimmy sham. Shimmy sham, how's that prepared? Uh, usually sauteed. <laughs> and Kenny will commit the 50,000. You can't shy away from one overcard. Okay, how about two overcards? That doesn't <laughs> seem right again. <laughs> Another check from Kenny Hallart. Wow, Ace King comes home for Chino. That is a full stack of orange, 100,000. Well, Hallert can't beat an ace. He can't beat a king. And of course, he can't beat ace king. But Chino still could have air here. Pocket queens. Uh, and as painful as it is, Kenny folds. Good fold. Clearly, I mean, it's prove, it. prove it. Everyone's prove gonna... it. Then prove it. I have you beat. I'm not. I, don't have, I never lie about prove my it. hands. I promise you. That's not ace. I promise you. I have you beat. I promise you. I mean, if you have queens, I got lucky, but I promise you, I have you beat. I don't ever have to lie about my hands. You get lucky. Yeah. Huh? I swear, I was gonna call him. I only had king high, but I know he had king. Ah, little bluffy, bluffy. Hi, hello. Welcome back to the Rio. The night beckons for one of our former main event champs. Johnny Chen couldn't get off the short stack, and he bows out before the money. Ah, uh, he was a kid with a dream. At the other end of the spectrum, Chino Ream is enjoying a healthy stack at the start of his day three, playing a style that can be a huge hit or a big swing and a miss. Since 2008, I haven't like made it past day one in the main event. Good luck, gentlemen. I seem to have had like this this curse of not even being able to bag on day one. I didn't I didn't appreciate it enough back then. Making a deep run in the main event, that hope and that dream is still alive. I guess looking back, you know, you just you just appreciate it more. Don't say I didn't gamble, boys. The only person that could hurt myself is me. You deserve to win that pot, my friend. Trust me. If I get unlucky, it is what it is. I, I could live with that. 
I put it in good and get unlucky, that's part of the game. But me, like, making silly moves or, or whatever, these are the things that, for me personally, that I know that I have to just, like, try and avoid. No, I'm gonna continue to try and make this table tough for you. Sometimes you just get bored and, and just start doing things you know you shouldn't do. Do you have a clock there? I mean, it could happen. Oh, yeah. In a perfect world. He says sometimes he has a quote-unquote one-second brain fart and makes a move he shouldn't. Here they go again. Chino raised. Kenny called. Yeah. Kenny, why do I feel like we're going to be playing a lot of hands today? We'll see. There's a flop. Nice call. Kenny as he flops the queen high straight. Top pair, no good for Chino, and he checks. Haller calls himself a recreational player. Yeah, like Warren Buffett is a recreational investor. <laughs> 9,000 into the pot from Kenny and a call from Chino Ream. He started the hand with 540,000 as the table chip leader. And that gives Chino reason to hang around with a flush draw. 21 of Hollert's 31 World Series caches have come in fields of 2,000 or larger. 17,500 from Hollert now. Five. Chino tripled his equity with that spade on the turn. I love that Chino does not waste anybody's time. He plays poker in the carpool lane. And he does call. King of hearts. King high straight for Kenny okay. now, but more importantly, no spade on the river. Chino checks again. Hollert sixth at last year's main event. Chino Ream finished seventh at the 08 main event, won by Peter Eastgate. Hollert has bet the entire way. And now he's got 43,000. 43,000. 43? 43. 43. 43. 43. 43. 43. 43. I played this hand real slow just because. I didn't want to play a big pot with it. And you just keep firing away. Now I just want to fold a really, really good hand. Chino flopped top pair and turned the nut flush draw. I have the ace of spades. You could have queen jack for sure. Or a set or something stupid. Kenny wants his ace king money back so bad. I don't want to give it to him. I don't want to give it to you, Kenny. I'm not going to lie. But you just might get it. All right, what'd you bet on the flop? Nine? 17.5, what is that? 20, 26.5, that's my... 58.7. Oh my god, he wants me to call so bad. Kenny, what kind of what is that, man? You're not supposed to tell me how much the pot is. Now I'm going to, like... You don't want to wait half an hour to figure it out. Yeah, I just, I got a decent hand. I have a, you know, I just, like, check called you, let you fire away. I got a good hand. I'm having fun, at least, Kenny. But uh, I'm not going to have fun paying you off. But you deserve it. You're a good player. Chino usually plays fast, but he's hit a speed bump here. Sorry, guys. Doesn't want to call, doesn't want to fold. Calls and gets beat by the straight. Look at what I just check called you with. I guess I could have got off it on the on the river. Nice hand. That. Ace King money right back. Almost. Right back. Ace King money back. Lost the motor this game. Tournament directors should counting. know how to stack chips quicker. <laughs> Good hand. Nice pop for Kenny Hollard. Poker Go is the only place you'll get more than 100 days of live poker a year and the best and original poker programming. Subscribe to Poker Go today at pokergo.com. Around the room, former November Niner Ben Lamb having a good main event here, stacked at 670 grand. He'll need every one of those chips. He's getting married soon. Brit Liv Bury fighting a short stack. She can live off a short stack. Mike Matiso in the dark hat has a Broadway draw with ace queen. Mikhail Broski in the red holds top pair. Matiso shoves. Oh, you posturing with queens, Mike? Oh, man. The mouth bluff shoves. 
and gets a call. Mike didn't have to do that. He had 45 big blinds left. Got to have a jack now. The river card is a nine. Mikhail avoids danger and eliminates Mike the Mouth. Oh, Mattiso had a terrific World Series, three final tables, but his main event ends in ugly, abrupt fashion. No main event cash for Mike since 2008. To Richard Seymour in the black hat, three-time Super Bowl champ with a good poker game now. All-in pre-flop with King Queen of Clubs against the Red Aces of Jim Gilbert. Seymour finished 24th at a World Series event this summer. Few outs on the river for Seymour. And that won't do it. His stay at the main event has come to a close on day three. How come the Patriots never lose on the field? I, I was rooting for Seymour here on the felt. Let's swing back to our secondary feature table where Chino Ream just called down a pre-flop four-bet shove holding pocket jacks. Jeff Costolny is all in with Ace King. Pocket jacks, they never win. Ace King all in and bang an ace for Costolny, looking to double up and take the pot of 133,000. Costolny, 59 year old Maryland amateur, finished 80th last year in his first main event. And a jack on the turn. Ream scores the two outer, and he has knocked out Jeff Costolny. Who works the turn better than Chino Ream? Absolutely. Jeff out before the money. Chino Ream having quite a day three. Any new player now. You raise, I re raise just smug. Yeah, you know I, know I got it. Oh, oh, yeah, you oh, yeah. oh I always have it. Back. I always have it until I don't have it. Gino hey, working his magic on day three, seeking a return trip to the main event final table. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Lon McCarron, along with Norman Chad, Kara Scott, and Joe Stapleton. We've joked about the number of main event champs in the field, but the reality is there are way more amateurs and first-timers getting their feet wet. Each year, we follow a few first-timers as they navigate the most prestigious tournament of the year. I am from Russia, Czech Republic, London, Holland, Augusta, Georgia, Mexico City, from Brooklyn, New York. I live in Brazil. I'm a professional poker player. I started playing when I was 17. I used to play bowling. I did that as a profession. I do reading and writing workshops with kids and professional development with teachers, and I write children's books. It's my first time because it's the right time to go here and play my dream, you know? <laughs> I finally this year told my wife, I said I'm coming out, and you know, she said go for it, I support you. Just fancied a bit of a holiday, I don't really play that much live, I uh, usually play online. It's on my bucket list, I'm gonna do it before I left this earth. I sold my company, so I had enough funds to be out here for three weeks. If you play poker, you have to play this tournament, at least once. I'm just playing my game, I hope that I won't do any big mistake. Even the best poker players in the world will not win if you don't have a little bit of luck. But I guess if they were to wear a jacket and shirt like this, they'd probably win a lot more cash. It's all about patience, 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 because the amateur's definition of patience is this many hands, and in the main event, you need to play this many hands. I feel confident, you know. At the end of the day, you're only playing against nine players at a time. I'm trying to think it's like, a, I don't know, $50 buy-in. <laughs> you can do everything wrong with poker and still win. You can do everything right and still lose. You know what I mean? But whether you win or you lose, it's on to the next hand. If I won the event, I would play high rollers and play more poker. It'd go to the kids. Put it in the bank. <laughs> if I won the main event, maybe I come to live in Vegas. Why not? Not really into material things, so uh, maybe like jet season tickets or something, even though they're terrible. I would probably buy a house, I guess, and like help out my family a little bit. Got them nice, aren't I? And of course, charity. Altruism and all that, yeah. <laughs> right, cheers. And first-timer Mickey Kraft in action and showing quads, Norman. <laughs> Mickey Kraft has a top 10 stack. If you are a first-timer or a 46-timer, you've got to show quads, no? Wow, absolutely. 833,000 chips for this first-timer. Another first-timer is K.L. Cleeton. He was a winner of a contest that Daniel Negreanu ran. Right now, Joe Stapleton is with Daniel. 
Well, everybody, you know who I'm standing here with. It's Daniel Negreanu. And Daniel, as you may or may not know, put one of his fans into the main event for free. Kale Cleeton's the guy. Daniel's down here sweating him, even though Daniel's out of the main event. Mm -hmm. I am out, unfortunately, but it is fun to sort of live vicariously through him. And I just saw him tweet something that kind of was like, really puts things in perspective. He just tweets out like how that he's living the dream. And when you think about that for a second, put that in perspective, it's hard not to be inspired. How far do you think he's gonna go? I think he's gonna make the money and then we'll see from there. Like he's got plenty of chips and I know that that's gonna matter to him and we're not that far from the bubble right now. KL, 27 years old, born with spinal muscular atrophy, University of Illinois grad in advertising. His father right there, Kenneth, shows KL his cards at the table, which means dad's gotta have a poker face too. You see on the upper left of your screen, we have 1,190 remaining, 106 eliminations from the money. Checking on Chino Reem's table, been folded to Mike Bartholomew in the small blind with ace 10. Chino waiting in the big blind. Bartholomew graduated from McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario. I, I believe they are the banana slugs. Bartholomew with a raise to 8,500. King Queen for Chino, and he puts Bartholomew all in. Bartholomew, part-time poker pro and a hospitality recruiter. He will turn 35 the day the main event champion is crowned this year. Started the hand with an even 100,000, did Bartholomew. And we are close to the money bubble, which might be pause for concern here for Bartholomew. Fourth main event, he's never cashed. And he's going for it here. And so Bartholomew ahead with ace 10, looking for the double up. I would take a left, but I want to win this hand, my friend. I really want to. I need more than you. But good luck to you anyway. By the way, King Queen always feels like a favorite against ace 10. I don't know why. <laughs> it's all the paint, I think. All right, so Bartholomew. I would snap me, by the way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. There's the flop. Six deuce four. Ace high still good, but still a big sweat for Bartholomew. Couldn't decide whether to win. Three bet. Went three bet shove or ace call. Turn card a queen, and that is a game changer. Mike now needs his long shot to come home on the river. Chino's been doing his best work on the turn. Bartholomew is gonna need an ace now or he is wamboozled. The river is a seven. Bartholomew comes up empty, goes away empty handed. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Bartholomew out. Chino chipping up the epitome of one step back, two steps forward. He's back over 600,000 with the money bubble approaching. The best poker content on the internet. Your super high rollerball seven champion. Oh yeah! Wheels are coming off. That's the craziest hand I've ever seen. What was that fight? Go to get.pokerco.com slash YT24 for $20 off a new annual subscription. The money bubble becoming a factor as we near the end of day three. 7,221 players began the main event. 1,084 get paid. Under 1,200 remain. Jason Mercier put to the test on the river has a short stack. And he is calling all in. The five-time bracelet winner is gone. Jason Mercier, 67 World Series caches, but he's only finished in the money at the main event once. He is done. Two bracelets last year, none at this World Series for Jason. Elsewhere, Sophia Lovgren, the talented pro from Sweden who has Chino Reem chips. She's big on skiing, sailing, soccer, golf, and ping pong. Ping pong's okay, the rest you can take. Nick Schulman seems very relaxed on the bubble. He's always relaxed, he wakes up relaxed, he goes to sleep relaxed, he's too relaxed for me. Doug Polk, sleeveless and without a care in the world. So I guess if he wore sleeves, all the world's problems would be on his shoulders. <laughs> Elsewhere, we check in Brit Matt Moss, over 800,000, Poised for another deep run. Imagine what he might do without Will Kasu fathering him. The sky is the limit. Jason relaying the bad news to his wife, Natasha. Well, he'll head off to Bed Bath & Beyond, and, and she will head back to work. <laughs> and she's got some work to do. Over 200,000 chips looking for her 19th World Series of Poker Cash. As a reminder for unlimited access to more of the best in live poker all year long, get in the game with Poker Go. A look there at our secondary featured table, Chino Ream with over half a million chips. 
sitting very comfortably here. Let's check in with Kara Scott for more on this pro. Chino Reem has been tangling with the players at his table and chatting up a storm as well. He says it's human nature for poker players that if they lose a big pot, they tend to play a bit more afterwards and maybe even against that same opponent. So I'm sure it's not surprising to see people playing back at him. It does feel a bit sweeter when you can take your own chips back. Chino and Kenny Hollard are the two most recognizable players at their table, and as Chino says, neither of them is afraid to mix it up and go for whatever chips are available. So it's no surprise that they keep ending up in pots together. And of of course, getting big hands against each other, that doesn't hurt either. At any rate, watching them mix it up is entertaining for us. The turn card is out. Chino is best with 10 high against the 9 high flush draw of Kenny Action on Chino, who indeed was the pre-flop raiser from early position with a 10-7. 10 high versus 9 high on the turn. Uh, this is like the poker game they played in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> A bet of 35,000 from Chino. Kenny now. Chino stabbing at it. Why? Because he can. Two top stacks at this table. And Kenny looks like the guy at Jiffy Lube just told him he needs a new carburetor. <laughs> Kenny folds to Chino's pressure. Chino had the best hand, though. Why are you made me sweat, Kenny? Because you usually have nothing. Why do you make me hold my breath? I don't know. I like to breathe. Why do you make me hold my breath? I was bluffing. Of course I was bluffing. Why do you make me hold my breath? I bluff every hand. I never have it. I thought he said earlier he always has it. We welcome a new feature table here on day three. Scotty Wynn, the headliner. Scotty's the headliner anywhere he goes. Even Jiffy Lube. He's the prince of poker. <laughs> earlier, Joe Stapleton had a chance to challenge the 98 main event champ. So I thought real quick we'd play a game of fill in the blanks with you, the originator of the baby. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, baby. A crime thriller starring Casey Affleck, directed by Ben Affleck. It is Gone Blank Gone. Baby, baby. That is correct. Vanilla Ice hit single, Ice Ice. Baby, baby. <laughs> The hilarious animated family hit of the early summer starring Alec Baldwin is the boss. Baby, baby. A crucial part of any low-carb diet are carrots of what variety? Baby, baby. What else? <laughs> Chili's is famous for selling this type of back ribs. Baby, baby. Tender. And if you're trying to make a delivery here at the Rio and Bay A is full, where should you make your delivery? To the baby, baby. That's right, to baby. Good luck, Scotty Wynn. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you for having me, baby. Scotty with an OK chip stack of 267000 As we approach the bubble, he last cashed in the main event two years ago. Former NBA standout Bob Sura at this table. He played 10 seasons beginning in 1995. There is poker pro Kathy Liebert in her trademark purple. She raised with jacks, then Scotty three bet with aces. Kathy calls for 10K more. And now the flop. Scotty gets even stronger with the wheel draw. Liebert with a bracelet and 47 World Series caches. Win with five bracelets and 54 caches. Liebert checked Scotty with 15,000. Liebert with over 6 million in live poker earnings. Check calls. Turn card, king of clubs. Scotty's still good here. The year Scotty Win won the main event in 1998, Kathy Liebert finished 17th. 21,000 now from Wynn. Kathy also finished 17th in the 2000 main event. Liebert with a check raise as though she were waiting for the king. Well, Scotty had made a, a tiny turn bet. I, I never know what to make of those. It's like waiters who don't write down your order. That also confuses me. And then it's frustrating when they get your order wrong. No shame in writing it down. <laughs> Scotty says, I hope you hit the king, baby. And a call of 24,000, five of spades on the river. Big pot here. Another check. That could be the white flag from Kathy Liebert. Yeah, Kathy now hoping to get it to show down without having to put another chip in this pot. Scotty tested Kathy the whole way, called her check raise. And now puts out 72,000. Scotty says, check raise me again. Make my day. Pocket jacks. Loser. And Liebert does fold a nice pot for Scotty. 
And Scotty shows he was not fooling around. He's like Chino, I guess. He, he always has it until he doesn't. Liebert feeling the sting of the pocket jacks. Win got nice value with the best starting hand in the game. So good timing for aces for Scotty Wynn. A much needed pot for the past main event champ climbing over 350,000, baby. Players facing their real first test of the main event. Can they squeeze into the money and then perhaps make a run at the final nine? Or will three full days of play leave them $10,000 lighter than what they started with? Joe Hashem couldn't get through day three, Norman. Only one cash in the last eight main events for the 05 champ. A pinup version of the 04 champ, and then there's the real thing. Greg Raymer short stack with four to one to double up and likely make the money. All in with Kings against the pocket nines of Florian Lohner. Raymer won it all the year before Hashem, and they both followed up their titles with deep main event runs the next year. Wow. Raymer with a front row seat to the set of nines that Lohner flops. Raymer looking for help. Down to the river card. Another Trey Lonert's lucky flop ends this World Series for the man who first bested a main event field of over 2,000 wow. players. Two out of twice in a row. Yeah, he was a four to one favorite there, but it's over in a heartbeat. I had the big pair of that other hand too. Not, I didn't hit the king. When you went check, check, I knew I was Florian that. with over 260,000. Raymer handling the bad beat calmly, but he doesn't have to like it. And Fossilman graciously gives Florian the signature Fossil to whoever knocks him out. Another past main event champ down. Doug Polk just doubled up. I am very lucky. I'm very lucky. I'm still in the tournament. Still in the tournament. Woo! I love poker. Tournaments are awesome. All right. And that's why you guys stick to your core value pre-flop hands. <laughs> Jacks, tens, ace-king isn't even a pair. I wonder if Doug Polk gives his tank top to the person who knocks him out. Back to Brasilia and our secondary feature table. Chino Reem has the action at the big blind, calls with pocket fives. Brandon West made it 12-5 from the small blind with ace-queen, and they will see a flop. West, 23-year-old pro, splits time between New Jersey and Las Vegas. And West hits that flop hard with the ace. He won a circuit ring a couple of years ago, did West? Bits 14,000. Chino will come along with his small pocket pair. Chino says, no problem, buddy. The hand doesn't even start till the turn. And indeed, 10 of clubs. Chino remisses that turn. Well, when West won that circuit ring a lot in uh, Las Vegas, I'm sure he did it by betting the best hand on the turn. Chino with twice the chips to start the hand as Brandon. And West checks his ace-queen this time. I don't like that. And now Chino fires 23,000. Yeah, if you open the door for Chino, just crack it a bit. He will slam his way through it. Boy, is West a pre-enrollment student of the Norman Chad School of Poker? He's been awfully cautious with the ace-queen here. Just a call. Actually, Lon, if he had just mucked the ace-queen pre-flop, I would offer him a scholarship or, or maybe made him a teacher at the Norman <laughs> Chad School of Poker. River card is a third club. The pair of aces is good for Brandon West. I cannot imagine West betting here now, but it would confuse and confound Chino. Now he does check again. And Chino wondering if West has a, a one-pair hand, like aces or nines, and wondering if he can get him off of it with another bet. Not just any bet. He bets enough to put Brandon West to the ultimate decision. Yeah, this is a classic case of a bubble hand, play passive and get run over. And I've said this before, it is hard to call off all your chips with one pair. It's like going to Whole Foods with just a $20 bill in your pocket. You just can't feel good about it. But it's the hyper-aggressive Chino Ream. The Chino playing the bubble moment perfectly. And he gets west of fold. Great play by Chino. The cool thing is, is in 30 minutes, you're going to see it. That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, you can just ask me, and I'll just tell you, I had the blessing to get some of my chips back. I could get some of my four or five of diamonds money back. I wasn't happy. 
Yeah, yeah, just got here. Yeah. As he likes to do, Chino puts pressure on and takes down a pot he had no business winning. We are just seven players away from the money. Nervous time around the Rio for amateurs and pros alike. Scotty wins table, moved off the featured table. Oh, got shot. <coughs> Scotty has aces again. He's all in against Lewis Kim, top pair, top kicker. Ace game of spades. Yeah. Ace king of spades. Are you telling the truth? Do I get my money back? He's lying. Kim, 42 year old from Vancouver, currently a tour bus driver. He's got the bigger stack. But nearly half of that stack oh. likely heading to the 98 champ. It's hard to lay down top pair, top kicker in that spot, but Scotty's got him crushed, and Kim's got to have a queen. River card, the six of clubs, and there is the double up for Scotty. Scotty finished 11th here in 2007. Does he have another deep run in him? He got paid again holding aces. <laughs> 118, man. 118. 118. 118. You lied to me. Is that, that, that the name of the game? Lying? <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed once known as the lying game. K.L. Cleeton doesn't have a lot of chips. Looks like it'll be enough, though, to squeeze into the money. Daniel Negrano's prediction might be coming true. So why not knit it up if you've come this far with a short stack so close to the money, huh? Yeah, when you're sitting there with a few chips, you feel like the last lobster in the lobster tank. You just hope no one notices you. 15% of the field will make the money. Charlie Cerisi on the left, Jack Effold orchestrating the money bubble dance. Three from the money. Three from the money. All right, players and dealers, we have reached the hand for hand portion of this tournament. One for one. We didn't count for 15,000. Yes. We came for 8 million. And the payout is 15,000. Turn is a 10, which is no help. He needs, still needs a heart. Let's see the river card. The river card was not a heart, so we have one elimination. And with that one elimination. Knockout of Roger oh. Campbell, everyone else is officially in the money, including Steve Pavlicek. We need, okay. All right, we're going back here. Jack's going to get a workout, and he can use one. And actually, there's another player all in. They have to play the out that C8 board. Is all in. He's got an ace high. He does not have the best hand. That means we have two eliminations here. Two eliminations. Two knockouts on the bubble. Everyone else wins 15 grand minimum, including Kale Clayton. It's an honor that, you know, Tom gave us this, this gift. And he wanted us to enjoy ourselves, to enjoy the experience. And making it to the money really was just gravy. I mean, it was, it was never about the money. It was about the experience. Well, it was some money. <laughs> it's always about the money. It's always about some money. I don't want to lie. But it um, means about money. But the experience was was the primary goal of what he wanted to give us. Um, he, he's raining down happiness on me right now. So with the bubble bursting, day three comes to an end. Some familiar names in the top 10. Antoine Saoud, 09, November 9er in third. And first timer, Mickey Kraft in sixth. Saoud was a first timer when he made the main event final table in 09. And then he made another deep run last year. Bag and tag, smiles now, come day four, it'll be all business for the remaining players. This has been my best World Series so far. I mean, I won a bracelet earlier in the, earlier in the summer, went back home to England, came back out, and now I've cashed the main. There's no feeling quite like it. Like, there's, like, how often do you have this kind of atmosphere where there's people screaming, there's people doing shots of tequila. It's like being in a party, it's great. Scotty Wynn, one of the former main event champs that cashed. 
you know, it's just like the main event is everything to a poker player, you know. We all dream to be in the main event. But I'm in it to win it again. That's the difference, you know. On a day when the bubble burst, Woo! Gino Ream and Kenny Hallard stole the show. I don't want to give it to you, Kenny. I'm not gonna lie. I always have it until I don't have it. I'm having fun at least, Kenny. Away from the featured table, it wasn't a great day to be a former main event champion. But Scotty Wynn kept his mojo working, baby. Baby, 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 what else? Everyone left is in the money, now they all want the big money. I promise you, I have you beat. For Norman, Chad, Kara, Scott, and Joe Stapleton, I'm Lon McCarran. See you next time from the World Series of Poker Main Event. Woo! I love poker.